Mmm. I wasn't even hungry after breakfast. How good's living? Now, I wouldn't call myself a food critic or a wine connoisseur, but man, I love this shit. Food, booze, and music. Oh, look at We're on a little that. food seeker tour. Perfect All right. All right. Let's do this. I'm Boo Seeker. Two. I don't know what Mason ended up doing. If he ended up staying out, I'll be interested to see if he's hungover. Apparently, he went out on Wednesday night in his pajamas. It'll be interesting to see how hungover both of them are this morning, actually. There used to be this little takeaway shop right next door to my place in Newcastle. And they used to do this burger called the Badger Burger. Shout outs to my mate Matt. So I'm thinking maybe. I'm gonna to try to recreate that this morning for the boys, for sure. <laughs> All right, no, well, no barbecue sauce on the, so the Vegemite and the avocado kind of acts as like your yeah, sauce vibe. Flavor, yeah. All right, sweet. 200 meters at the roundabout, continue straight to stay on Kintan. Bit of sun, it's always nice. Awesome, brother, thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you. Maybe let's do some shopping and then we'll come back and have the coffee, eh? It's always an adventure when you go to a new grocery and you've got no idea where anything is. I'm all for a cupboard cook, but I'm actually quite nervous that the boys are going to have fucking nothing at this house. Good morning. Hi, how are you? Good, and yourself? Yeah, I just want to grab some uh, ham. Some ham? All right, I think we're good. So I'm in a band called Boo Seeker and I've just started doing like a food blog basically where I'm just kind of cooking for my mates and trying different places and going to these cool little boutique little grocers and finding people like you guys and yeah. What's your band called? Boo Seeker. Boo Seeker? Yeah. Hopefully you like it. Cheers, man. Thanks so much for the great coffee. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, what? what oh, nice. What's going on? Good to see you there. Are you coming for breakfast? Because Boo Seeker's making some delicious food. Boo Seeker, come on in. I'm going to cook you two different things. So this is this first one is an ode to the corner store next to my joint back in Dudley. Well, it's not there anymore. Back in Daddy. Yeah, back in Daddy. <laughs> uh, one of my best mates used to own it, and he used to have this little breakfast burger called the Badger. I just rang him in the car on the way here. I was like, what is, what is it again? And I'm glad I fucking rang because I would have fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was thinking I'll try something. You said you like steak and eggs and you like your Mexican food. So I'm going to do like a steak and eggs Mexican roll or something Sick. or other. <laughs> steak, mm, eggs, <laughs> mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had an original Badger Burger, but this is delicious. I don't think you'll ever find a Badger Burger anywhere else in the world. That is so yum, dude. Such a good amount of Vegemite. Yeah. Not too overpowering, but quite enough to boost the flavour. How are we going with time, actually? Um, we got here, it's here. Ready? Yeah. And time's right here. Bit heaps. <laughs> Every time. Every time. <laughs> with that butter or? I'm going to make 
make sure, you know, we have a good amount of layers of stuff, but you know what, I don't want it falling out on everyone. Yeah, that's tricky. I don't know if I've got the biggest buns, but you know. Yeah, it's crunchy too. Yeah. You can do the honest, you can do the cut. The deer Sunday. That's what it's called. Deer Sunday, yes. it is. Mm. It's good. It is good. Big steak for breakfast. Yeah. Um, Dude, those skinny jeans aren't gonna last long after the food seek, I tell you what. <laughs> Alright, so that's a wrap with Deer Sunday. The boys are off to play a gig down at the beer farm. Just cooked them up a nice brekkie, brought back some memories with a burger that I used to go next door in Newcastle from my house to, to get every morning for breakfast. And now we're off to a bagel place. Uh, my manager, Cullen, he's been talking this place up for the last 48 hours, so. Waiting for an Uber, we're gonna go smash that, and then it'll be time to head over and start getting ready for this gig tonight. Let's ask the Uber driver the same questions again. How's your day? You been busy? <laughs> How's your day been, brother? Been busy? Yeah, I've just started now. Go see what this place is all about. Jesus, it must be good. Always a good sign. I'm gonna go to the Cabano, I reckon. Yo, is it my time? Yeah, it's your time. Yeah, it's my time? You can talk to the camera. Oh man, I knew I was ready for TV, <laughs> man. Woo! <laughs> Bro, what do you recommend? I'm thinking the Cabano, but is there like an OG that I should try for the first time? Like, I mean, do you want a bagel or do you want like, do you want something good? Oh, what are you thinking? I mean, I came for a bagel, but. You came for a bagel, dude. Like, the hop is trying to be and we do. Do you know what we do, right? What I'll recommend. Yeah. Get the pastrami right. Yeah. You get that in a bagel. Get it in a bagel? Get it in a bagel. So it's like a root bagel. If we can do that, I'm all for it. Let's yeah, do it. Yeah. Or my, my second option, right, would be the PC. So it's the same pastrami, but with the soft egg, the melted cheese. Nah, let's go. I like let's your first one. Like first one. Let's do that. My man. All right. And what I do. I'll get it I'm the taking your recommendation. Oh, yeah. man, you, you buckle up. Uh, yeah. Right, this, this is good. We'll just ride, all right? All right, done. So we do that and that. Bagel-o. Man, I've got high expectations for this after seeing how big that line was. Crazy. Watching the chef putting these things together. Holy dooly. It is big, too. Oh, oh, look at that. Man. There is no way this isn't going to be amazing. <laughs> My God, I have no words. Out of all the places we've hit up in the last 24 hours, this is by far the best thing we've eaten. I don't even care that it's not on the menu. It should be on the menu, this thing. This is fucking unreal. So good. Mm. I wasn't even hungry after breakfast. How good's living? They're that good. They're that good, I gotta get Jay and Eamon one. They just landed, so gonna take a little surprise down to the venue. Man, the place is so good. Even watching the chef and his crew, they're just on it. It's just like, Pure genius from one end to the other. Man, I wish I could fit another one of those. Sound check time. Let's do it. Okay, we'll just run it again, see if it happens. Okay. We never really drank before shows. But then as soon as we did the old tequila shot, I was like, ooh, I like this. I think, we, I think it started because we had like, I can't remember what town it was, but it was a show and it was quite, yeah, we had a bottle it was a small show, let's put it that way. And Benny and I were struggling to get into the mood. We were just like, right, let's just <laughs> double tequila shots, let's go. All right, boys. Two boys. To a good show. To a good show. To a good show. Cheers, boys. What? I did all that wrong. That's sugar. 
No, it's not. <laughs> That's not. Did you do it backwards? I did backwards. <laughs> I saw you do the shot and then do the shot. Oh, oh, no. I'm not going to lie. Are you kidding? I'm not going to lie. That was actually better than doing it the right way around. Oh, I hope that's not an indication of how the show's going to go. It's like an immediate little pick up now. Little... The sit down shows are always a little bit. Uh, yeah, let's go with confronting. basically what we're saying is like oh. that that's so special like that's so oh, yeah. special what we just did all right good. 